Something to consider in SketchUp is drawing 2D information. A lot of people like to add 2D information such as door swings like this later on in layout. And of course you can do this, but it can become a pain to manage whenever anything changes, especially on larger projects if there's a lot of doors, for example. Also, something which may look good in the 3D view may simply just prove too complex to be legible when viewed as a 2D slice, such as appliances or furniture elements. If we look on the first floor plan, you can see this kitchen is quite confusing and also the fireplace is quite complex at this scale. Because these are on a layer which is for 3D only, if we turn that layer off, you can see the drawing now looks much neater. Let's just update our drawings, our scene, to save the changes. Now, if we go back and look at the ground floor doors, let's just look at them in our working scene for the time being. If we open up the ground floor block and then go to the doors and open up one of these doors, you'll see they consist of three separate groups. And you can see those groups here in the outliner. There is the door frame, which works fine in both 3D and 2D views. It's quite simple. The door itself in the closed position. Now I don't want to see this in my plan views. I want to see an open door swing. So this is on a layer called 3D only. And then this door swing is actually just drawn with, lay with lines in SketchUp and made into a group. And that group is on this layer, 2D only. Okay, so now if we go back to our ground floor plan, here are those doors that we just looked at. And you'll notice that the 2D only layer is turned off. So if we turn that back on, here are all our door swings. You'll also notice that I've done something different here with the staircase as well, to show the staircase the way we want to see it in 2D. If we also turn off 3D only, then those solid bits of door and the solid bit of staircase disappear. And this starts to look a lot more like a conventional plan. Okay. Also, because this is a component, if I move the door, then the 2D line work moves with it. And any changes I make to one instance of this door will be replicated for all of the doors like this throughout the model. I'm sure you can appreciate on a much larger project, if you had several of these doors, it would make things much quicker and easier. This is what makes the layering system in SketchUp so powerful. Let's update that scene to save it. And we can move on. Now that we've got our plans looking a bit more the way we want them, let's look at styles, but how we can finish them off. 